Well, well, well. Hello, everybody, boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, dudes, dudettes. This is Sergey Baklikov, and you're watching Baklikov Live. I'm happy to say that now it is 28th of February 2021. Technically, the last day of winter of winter here in Russia in a season of 2020 2021. Yes, here in Russia, the 1st of March already uh, considered as the first day of uh, spring. And yesterday, uh, tomorrow's day, it will be like the holiday of uh, spring. And this is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, this is so cool, as cool as today. Definitely, uh, uh, I plan to prepare something really special for you. Really special. And uh, today it will be uh, the unique visit to the Hermitage Theater, where today we will listening to the Nutcracker of uh, Piotr Tchaikovsky in a jazz, in the original jazz interpretation of uh, Alexander Maslov, one of the best uh, jazz pianists, <clears throat> not only in St. Petersburg, not only in Russia, but in the whole world, okay? And uh, it will be not only the music, but it's going to be a, also a great interpretation. Well, at least like an interesting, unusual, original interpretation of uh, the Nutcracker Ballet by the artists, ba ballet artists of um, uh, Mikhailovsky Theater of St. Petersburg. This is going to be just amazing, just amazing. The beginning in less than 90 minutes at 7 o'clock now here in St. Petersburg, 5.34. And of course, today significantly I'm um, uh, beginning uh, from the beginning of uh, Alexander uh, Nevsky Prospect and uh, from the square of Alexander Nevsky and Alexander Nevsky Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity, Lavra. Here it is. Uh, the first, the first and still the biggest monastery on the territory of uh, St. Petersburg, the monument to Prince of Novgorod, Alexander Nevsky. This nowadays territory of uh, St. Petersburg and Leningrad region used to belong to Novgorod, Novgorod lands, and Alexander Nevsky was the prince. The battle, famous battle on Neva River was uh, actually here on Neva, like just uh, maybe 20 kilometers down the river from here. Okay, let's get it started. It's 5.35 uh, p.m. Now I will, uh, I will walk all the way through Nevsky and we'll get to the Hermitage, State Hermitage, where is uh, also located the uh, uh, Hermitage Theater. The weather is awesome. The weather is pretty good. I don't know, like plus two degrees Celsius. And uh, the uh, uh, sunset going to be at 6.24 in like almost an hour from now, like 50 minutes. So also all the way to the uh, Hermitage Theater, we're going to enjoy the daylight time. Um, as I told you, the days are getting longer and longer. Five minutes, 27 seconds every new day. It's like 11 minutes. Uh, every two days, which is pretty cool. It's not at all it's when you can go to the Hermitage Theater. So today it's going to be a really unique stream, unique stream. And yeah, I had to negotiate to film in the uh, Hermitage Theater and uh, it's approved, it's approved. Son of Man, Manfred Bismarck, Barry Brin.
Brian B.J. Lewis, Andrew Biro, Ronda Price, Neil McDonald, Great Gatsby, everybody. Everybody, hello. No worries, no, everything is okay. To say honest, to say honest, I uh, woke up. Maybe my, my voice is different, but that's because actually I woke up only 30 minutes ago. You know, like a couple hours ago, I decided to take a rest, to take uh, a rest before I will go to the theater and uh, I fall asleep. <clears throat> and then I had to wake up uh, to go to a quick shower to get a coffee and that's it. the administration of uh, the central district of St. Petersburg. Quiet Nevsky Prospect today. It's Sunday evening, Sunday, Sunday evening. Most people are probably now sitting home, relaxing as uh, after a working week, as after the weekend. Nancy Estella, where are we going today? Check out the title. We are going to the Hermitage Theater of St. Petersburg. Uh, the oldest theater in St. Petersburg, which is inside of the uh, state Hermitage. Uh, We're going for a concert there. Concert and ballet, the Nutcracker in Jazz. The interpretation of uh, Piotr Tchaikovsky the Nutcracker, a uh, classical masterpiece in jazz. Waiting for 25 minutes, uh, seconds. Hey, keep joining. Only a little, only a little bit more than one hour left to the beginning of uh, the Nutcracker and Jazz. Uh, the unique special live stream in a sun in a last winter day here in Saint Petersburg.
So the Nutcracker in jazz. That's a jazz concert at Ballet Extravaganza at the Hermitage Theater of St. Petersburg, Russia. That's going to be the jazz suite of the favorite melodies of the legendary masterpiece of Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. It will be performed in a provocative interpretation of Alexander Maslov and his jazz trio and the stars of ballet. The stars of ballet and uh, including the artists of uh, Mikhailovsky Theater, Irina Peren and uh, Marat Shimeonov. They are married couple. Married couple and ballet dancers. So it's going to be an interpretation, not only in terms of music, but in terms of uh, the uh, choreography. Because let's say there will be the Mouse King in the form of Mickey Mouse, colorful ballerinas, a dance uh, with uh, Chinese umbrellas and a giant nuts. In the description to this uh, live stream, you can see more information, including the program. The concerts will be consisted of two parts, where in the first part, there's also the music of Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, Alexander Borodin, and uh, Aram Khachaturian. Nero, greetings from Azor Vacation Club Resource in Golden Bay, Malta, and your broadcast will be shared in the billiards room. Hey Nero, thanks so much. Thank you big time. Regards from St. Petersburg, and uh, congratulations with the last win today. Well, at least here in Russia, technically, it's always considered like this is the last winter day. Yeah, we went through this. Uh, I remember that at the 30th of December 2020, just like two months ago, yeah, exactly two months ago, I was in Ufa, and there we've heard the uh, uh, all the absolutely classic Nutcracker performed by the National Symphony Orchestra of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Uh, exactly how it is written by Pyotr Tchaikovsky himself. Now, two months after, here is a jazz interpretation of that. Jazz suite. Yes, it was two months ago, 30th of December.
Eric Platz. Thanks for good words. HSM Epic Return High. Brianna B. High. Andre Biro. Sofia Monaco. Seas. Vanjuk. Is there a magazine in St. Petersburg where you can find all the concerts in all the venues? Yeah, maybe, but I don't know if there's such a magazines because, well, for me, I mean, the source of information is internet. I'm getting all the information from the internet. Uh, let's say there's a website which is called afisha.yandex.ru Yes, Yandex have an application or the websites almost for everything these days. First of all, this is a, a search engine like Google. And uh, here in Russia, it's still more popular, way more popular than Google. Uh, because it's... Uh, as old as Google and it's a Russian product so it's uh, first of all oriented to the Russian language Russian semantics and uh, Russian uh, segments of internet Yandex now went offline also pretty much you know Yandex taxi Yandex drive which is car sharing uh, Yandex Foods, the delivery of cooked food from the restaurants. Yandex Mall, the delivery of groceries. Uh, so what else? Yandex Courier. And they have Yandex Afisha. Afisha, A-F-I-S-H-A. What means poster? Like, you know, uh, the poster with an announcement of uh, like a listing listing of the events uh, all kinds of events concerts sports events uh, movie movies uh, you know like quests you know such a thing like quest where you can come with a, a company of your friends with your family and to participate in a big quest like some kind of entertainment uh, and look, not only there you're getting an information, but also right there you're buying the tickets. So Yandex uh, provides like uh, really a reliable service of uh, the tickets purchase. So now also here I purchase the tickets online just on Yandex Afisha. Afisha, A F I S H A, Afisha. It's like poster yandex.ru but it's afisha.yandex.ru so here you can filter out all the uh, uh, um, events however not all events are published there for example Anan Kirche using another platform which is called timepads.ru timepads but look there's just a cashier it's like a cashier cashier uh, Afisha Yandex. So that's it. And look, I pur purchased the ticket there. It's uh, getting delivered right away to my email. To my email box as a PDF. And that's it. Uh, these days you don't even need to print that out. You don't need even to print that out. It's enough just to open it up on the screen of your phone and uh, it's not a problem for them with their like special device to scan the uh, barcode or QR codes. Not a big deal. Also Yandex uh, yet gives the points. I'm registered to Yandex and uh, I also receive like 1%, 1-2% of uh, like some kind of cash back 
yeah, not too much at all. But, but, well, nice. At least something. By the way, these tickets to the Hermitage Theater is relatively, relatively to um, the tickets to the other events in St. Petersburg, relatively expensive, like 2,500 rubles, which is like 35, 37 bucks. Площадь восстания. Okay, for 25 minutes, I already got to площадь восстания, and uh, we've made it like a half of uh, Nevsky. Uh, all the all the distance. Look, all the distance from Alexander Nevsky Lavra there to площадь восстания. This part of uh, Nevsky considers and normal uh, known informally as an old Nevsky because uh, the construction of Nevsky Prospect was started exactly uh, by the monks of Alexander Nevsky Lavra and the newer part the newer part historically the newer parts of Nevsky Prospect was started from the embankments of Neva River and the Winter Palace, where we go now. We go to the Winter Palace. Or to be exact, the State Hermitage Museum, State Hermitage Theater. Yeah, we don't go to the museum, but we go to the theater. Uh, Winter Palace, why it's called Winter Palace? Because initially it was supposed to be the winter residence, the winter residence of the royal family. But when uh, finally it was constructed, uh, the Empress never loved it for a living. Like it's too big, uh, too big and not really like cozy, you know, for, for a living. And so almost right away, not almost, but actually right away, it, is started, it, it, it was um, readapted for the Arts Museum. Arts Museum, and nowadays this is the second biggest art museum in the world. The bigger is only Louvre in France. They say you need eight years non-stop to watch all the collection of uh, the Hermitage. If each item of it, you will watch for one minute. Yeah, so a lot of stuff. intersection of Ligovsky and Nevsky. Come on. The entrance to Площад Восстания Metro Station, the Square of Uprising. Площад, the Square of Восстания Uprising. Hey dudes, keep joining. Really special live stream today. 
uh, and uh, I'm really nervous. As always, I'm pretty nervous uh, when it's about the new places. How good is the internet will be there? Big, and uh, just, just I, I want you to enjoy it so much. I want you to enjoy it so much. And I hope the internet will not fuck up. So uh, this is what is considered to be Polish Vastania. A Moskovsky Vokzal, Moscow's railway station. So today we will see the uh, Nat Cracker in the jazz interpretation of uh, Alexander Maslov jazz trio. By the way, in that trio there's Pavel Chizik. About a week ago I was in the, uh, you remember, music coffee, music coffee place, and there was uh, the jazz band, another jazz band. And there performed Pavel Chizik on a vibraphone. So he's actually a member of uh, also Alexander Maslov Jazz Trio. Yeah, today we are gonna see a pretty extravagant interpretation of uh, the Nutcracker and everything, as in music, jazz interpretation as in ballet because it's actually the nutcracker it's a pretty it's a pretty classic ballet but there it's gonna be the ballet in a just variation pretty brave interpretation is going to be and uh based on what i was reading about it uh, it was not an easy task for the uh, choreographers to deal with it. Like to stage the ballet on jazz interpretation. On jazz music actually. So look, you remember I told you that St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg, uh, here, the, the city of music, the quintessential of music in Russia. And uh, first of all, here is big classics and jazz. And uh, this is something what so many times you already could see. All those places for classic that had visited. Uh, like Catherine's assembly, uh, the small hall of um, St. Petersburg State Philharmonic. Uh, what else? The St. Petersburg Opera Theater, and more and more and more. And all of those jazz venues. Well, first of all, the Hat, then uh, JFC, Jazz Friends Club, since 1994, the police station, the uh, Jazz Philharmonic Hall, now classics and uh, jazz in one place. That's awesome. Look, classics, ballet, and jazz. Three in one. Oh, that's gonna be great. Would you like to adult shop? This guy promoting adult shop. Okay, 602. 28th of February. And this is less than an hour to the beginning of uh, the Nutcracker in jazz. At the uh, Hermitage Theater. Yeah, today, uh, of course, like uh, 
for the sake of the last day of winter here in Russia, I prepared something really special for you. Special and unique, okay? Significantly walking through Nevsky, right from Alexander Nevsky Lavra to the state Hermitage. Not the museum though today, but to the theater. I'm excited and I hope you're excited as well. An intersection of Nevsky and Mayakovsky, Vladimir Mayakovsky streets. He was a pretty significant poet in the Soviet days. The spring is already tomorrow. The spring is here. And uh, what a great ending of uh, winter now going to be. Yeah, it's a pretty unique possibility to go to the Hermitage Theater now. JJNS, thanks for all you do, Sergey. You're welcome. Enjoy. Enjoy only here on my channel, on Backlick of Live. The widest variety of the things in St. Petersburg in particular and in Russia in general, only here. Real time, non-stop, no cuts. Pink green, Nutcracker is my favorite ballet. Yeah, but keep in mind that now you will see not a classical interpretation of the, of the Nutcracker ballet. It's gonna be another extra, extra vagant interpretation. Nordic walk. You saw that guy with the six? So called Nordic walk.
Victoria didn't want to go, I assume. Dude, dude, Victoria is already living for three years in St. Petersburg. You really think that uh, she never went to the Nutcracker yet? Dude. She already saw that several times. This is St. Petersburg. Keep joining, dudes, keep joining. Only 50 minutes left to the beginning of the Nutcracker in Jazz. Yeah, pretty often here in St. Petersburg, you can see the just a classical variation of the Nutcracker in uh, Boryinsky, Alexandrinsky, Mihailovsky theaters. So, the Nutcracker in jazz is uh, uh, way more rare, I think. Way more exclusive thing. And I'm, I'm gonna bring this exclusive now to you. Well, just let's, uh, just let's, uh, let's keep the fingers crossed for um, reliable internet connection, LTE connection there. HSM Epic Return, thanks so much. Get coffee. Uh, when I will get closer to the Palace Square, there is a coffee shop company, place. And if I will see that I have like uh, plenty of time yet, I will get a coffee. Belazirsky, Belazirsky Palace. By the way, it's been a while. I was coming here. This is where every week perform the uh, St. Petersburg State Academic Symphony Orchestra. So I uh, need to get back here, maybe next week. We've got to the embankment of Fontanka River. Six eleven. There we go.
an echo of war. Damn, another 60 seconds. Sometimes in total, it can take a while. HSM Epic Return, get coffee for the uh, Coffee Nut Jazz Cracker. Okay, we'll do that. Thanks so much, dude. Uh, pretty nice to see already over 200 people on the stream. Keep staying here. Only 45 minutes at the beginning of uh, the Nutcracker in Jazz. And, uh, you know, in a place where it's not that easy to get the Hermitage Theater. Many people in the streets of, I mean, on in in the street of Nevsky, Nevsky Avenue. In like about ten minutes, officially, the sunset will be started. But we now got some got some time, like actually almost an hour. It's going to be almost an hour. We enjoyed still the daylight time. The square of Catherine, Catherine Square, and uh, Alexandrinsky Theater.
Did you see your brother's store? And this is, uh, let me show you now. That's where it's located. The most popular 24 seven live camera on Nevsky, which is for 24 seven available on YouTube. It's here. King Nero, is that the KGB special cam, Sergey? I don't think so. I think the KGB cams are not public. Here is a lot of them, and they are not public. But uh, they are uh, into the system, which is called Safe City. Everything is getting recorded and uh, through the police, I mean through the official application to the police, uh, you can get, you can get uh, the access to the records. If you watched my live stream yesterday, you would already see that the street musicians are finally, after many months, are getting back into the streets. This is another, another, um, another thing of uh, the upcoming spring. Another sign that the spring is here. Willie Puffers, for showing me your beautiful country. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Willie. Stay tuned, keep watching. The Armenian church. Abrikosov restaurant which used to belong to Abrikosov family the merchant's family which is inside decorated with a Chinese so-called Chinese style in the end of 19th century it was really popular here in Russia around the aristocracy, the Russian aristocracy. The Grand Hotel Europe and the Grand Hall of uh, St. Petersburg State Philharmonic named after Dmitry Shostakovich. And right there, the Russian Museum. Mikhailovsky Palace.
Now you see how fast it has became dark now. Yeah, the sunset time. It's exactly the sunset time. 6.23, the sunset time today. Now this is the small hall of uh, St. Petersburg State Philharmonic. The music is everywhere in this city. Classics, jazz, rock, ballet music. So and now there's going to be, a, uh, we are going to the place where we will meet, I mean, to the place where classics, ballet, and uh, jazz gets together, all together. And we are going to be an eyewitness of that. Kazan Cathedral. Gribayedov Canal. Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood. There. You see the music even there. This guy is staying there on a little chair and uh, playing the trumpets. So next to Gastine Dvor there was the whole band, street band. Here is the guy playing trumpets. And there we go to Hermitage Theater, where we will hear the jazz trio and uh, their interpretation of the Nutcracker, the classical ballet of Piotr Tchaikovsky. It's Alexander Maslov, Alexander Maslov jazz trio. Alexander Maslov, he's a virtuoso pianist. Uh, also here, he is a senior lecturer at St. Petersburg Music Conservatory performing all over the world. And uh, look, this is the biggest, the biggest music shit store in Russia. It is called Northern Lira. Northern Lira. They are the publishers, so they are themselves publish the music shits and uh, sell it there. Yeah, a huge, huge collection of uh, the music of the music sheets for all the instruments and also the scores so it's like the scores for the whole orchestra to play and uh here in a city like saint petersburg it's definitely it's definitely makes sense to have such a store okay so I think that I have some time and I will try to grab a quick coffee.
Здравствуйте. Не с собой латы большой, без всяких добавок, без сахара. Оплата по карте. Все, можно. Хорошо, спасибо. Окей, okay, waiting. Waiting two minutes and we go. Only 30 minutes left to the beginning of uh, the concerts in the uh, Hermitage Theater. So keep joining. Only 30 minutes left. It's gonna be an awesome uh, ending of the winter in Russia. Classics, jazz, ballet gets all together. And not somewhere, but in such a significant place like the Hermitage Theater. The first theater in St. Petersburg. Daryl Zernick, thanks so much. Matilda Armonia, yes, we are going to the State Hermitage Theater, not to the museum today. And uh, there we will see the uh, uh, unusual interpretation of the Nat Cracker Ballet. Well, first of all, as in terms of music, as in terms of uh, the dance, because it's going to be uh, uh, the jazz interpretation of uh, the classical Nat Cracker uh, masterpieces. Uh, from Piotr Tchaikovsky and in terms of uh, the dance it's gonna be like it's unusual interpretation like uh, let's say where the mouse king uh, will be uh, in an image of uh, Mickey Mouse the uh, ballet dancers in a colorful dresses with the Chinese umbrellas and stuff like that. Well, uh, you can get more detailed description uh, just uh, uh, in the description to this live stream. Hello, Crystal. Welcome aboard. Maria Zakharova, hi. Come on.
Polygraph, Polygraphovich, there was a modernized American version of the Nutcracker in the 1990s called Hard Nut. Uh, to say honest, never heard of that. Thanks for letting me know. Moika River. Well, look, they turn on the lights. Look, you see that? Turns on the lights. So, good evening. The lights are turned on. So good evening. Literature Cafe since 1818 here hanged out. Tchaikovsky, by the way. More than that, not only Tchaikovsky hang out here, but one of the versions that he got infected exactly like being here uh, when he asked for a raw water to drink. He was thirsty and he said he needed water. And uh, the waiter said that we don't have the boiled water at the moment now. And he said that he don't care. Just give me a, give me a raw water then. And that water is going to be uh, infected. So he got sick and died in 1893. Uh, he lived on uh, Malaya Marskaya Street just behind the corner there. Yeah, what a ridiculous death in uh, only the age of 53. So there we go, 6.37, 23 minutes to go, but I'm already getting to the place. This is an arch of uh, the general headquarters, right behind it, Palace Square, right behind Palace Square, the Winter Palace, and that's where is the Hermitage Theatre. So keep joining. Special live stream today, which I dedicate to the last day of winter. Yeah, donkey, freaking donkey. They are pretty annoying. The problem about donkeys, or it can be giraffe, it can be zebra, is that they are too pushy. Because look, normally, like this, look. And uh, the biggest problem that they touch people they actually touch people, you know? This is, this is the most, this is, I mean, this is the weirdest thing that piece off people. And also, especially they are left to take advantage on like uh, more cool cats, people, if I can say so. Look, uh, when they are trying just at first to photograph and then just like to 
how to say how to say this in English to put you before the facts it's like means uh, like to put you in a position when you're like already harder to uh, harder to resist because you're already placed in this situation when like it's like let's say it's the service is provided and uh, they set usually at first a ridiculous price they actually they have to be pushed because normally people don't need these uh, photographs where they're just a donkey okay so this is winter palace the state hermitage the street musicians here as well and uh, now I just need to walk around and to get to uh, the Hermitage Theater. The entrance from the side of Dvorcovoy uh, Nabirezhne, Palace Embankment, 34, the house 34. Let's see if Saxman is there. Yeah, I see nobody there. My the age, hello. Yes, I feel that's in the air too. Okay, now I'm uh, a little bit ner nervous. A little bit nervous. Look, I negotiated uh, that I can film, I can make a live stream from the Hermitage Theater, but I'm not sure about how the quality of LTE will be there inside of that Hermitage Theater because I just never filmed there. But I hope everything's gonna be okay. I don't want, I don't wanna the epic ending of uh, the winter. Uh, to be spoiled. Okay, I'm finishing my coffee. Okay, Palace Embankment.
Okay, so the entrance is there now. Gonna be the next door. Yeah. Okay, fifteen minutes to go. Neil McDonald's, yes, now let's keep the uh, fingers crossed. The connection will be good there. We're going to the State Hermitage Theater. Here in the Pole Fortress. Okay, so here it is. Здравствуйте, здесь вход, да? Театр. Прямо, да? Спасибо. Здравствуйте.
got inside. The connection is okay so far. Clock room. Да, дверечка. Сейчас секундочку. Так. Все, вижу, пожалуйста, возьмите твои ручки, там будет Хорошо. Спасибо. King Nero, thank you once again for supporting the arts and how important they are for the civilized world to admire. Welcome, enjoy this. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, everybody. So, uh, seven minutes to go. We are inside of the Hermitage Theater, the Nutcracker in Jazz. This is the Jazz Interpretation. Uh, and uh, also the interpretation of a classical ballet, the Nutcracker Ballet. More information in the description to this live stream. Тридцатое место, четвертый ряд, это там, да? О, спасибо, спасибо. Thank you. 
Five minutes to go. It's better for me to take my seat down. So this is my seat. So I think it's a great location. I, I made sure it's one of the best to take one of the best seats. Nobody before us, you see, nobody. Matilda, Armonia, enjoy the performance, thanks. I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy this. And look, uh, it seems like the connection works pretty good, right? I really worried about that. Okay, we've made it, dudes, only three minutes to go. We are inside of the uh, uh, Hermitage Theater here on the embankments, of, on the palace embankments of uh, St. Petersburg, right in front of Peter and Paul uh, Fortress, Peter and Paul Church. Now this is gonna be uh, an interesting interpretation of uh, Petr Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker the Nutcracker and Jazz Interpretation by Alexander Maslov and his Jazz Trio, Alexander Maslov. He's one of the uh, most known jazz pianists, not only in Russia, but in the world. Uh, he's also senior lecturer in St. Petersburg Music Conservatory. Uh, and uh, this is, he's also the composer and actually all this interpretation made by him. So this is something like really, uh, we're gonna see something really authors, original. Here in St. Petersburg, actually the classical, just a classic variation. I mean, exactly the way uh, Petr Tchaikovsky and uh, people who lived uh, at the same time with him. Uh, I mean, just a, just a normal, original, classical stages of the Nutcracker here in St. Petersburg, you, you can see, you can see all the time, but it's not that often when you can see the jazz variation. Besides, that's the special interpretation of it uh, in a ballet. So also, we will see not a classical ballet now for the Nutcracker, but it's uh, also like a, a special variation, orders variation. Uh, but look, not only we will listen to uh, the Nutcracker, Tchaikovsky, but also uh, Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, Alexander Borodin, and Aram Khachaturian. Phil Martinez, hello everyone, looking forward to the show. Yeah, I made sure to get the best place, the best seat. Oh, 
because you know uh, sometimes I had faults my faults when I was getting the seats uh, behind somebody and uh, the heads of people before me was making the problems how is the leg room the leg room is just okay I mean look I'm sitting here just okay the leg room is okay because you know initially initially this theater is actually like uh, was made for a, like a high class you know so everything's supposed to be pretty comfortable here but now actually it's affordable it's affordable for everyone it's like uh, it's not the cheapest tickets here relatively to uh, other to many other concerts but still pretty affordable 35 bucks or in russian in russian money uh 2500 rubles The Hermitage was founded in 1764, exactly. I hear there behind the curtain, there's already uh, something happens. warming up St. Petersburg is a quintessential of a history, culture, architecture, arts, literature, and music. There we go.
the Hermitage Theatre in the first part of the concert, not only Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky will be in the second part together with a ballet. Now another Russian composers, Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, Alexander Borodin, Aram Khachaturian.
the Hermitage Theatre, St. Petersburg, Russia. Live, an exclusive live on Bucklet of Life. Oh yeah, the magic happens here in the Hermitage Theater, St. Petersburg, Russia. Just interpretation of uh, Russian composers.
jazz interpretation of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov Flights of the Bumblebee. Okay, the end of the first part, we are going for a break, and in the second part, the Nutcracker and the Ballet. Just interpretation of the Nutcracker of uh, Piotr Tchaikovsky. And the Ballet. What a night, what a night. This is also my first time in the Hermitage Theater. I, uh, I have been many times in um, the museum, Hermitage Museum, but never in the theater yet. I really was nervous. Like every time when I go to the new places about uh, the connection, but the connection is pretty awesome here, right? I'm glad to see that you love it. Thanks. Yeah, maybe let's take a walk too. Да. 
Two four six eight one zero three three five. Welcome to the club. Thank you for joining. Whatever closets are there. Matilda, you're welcome. Crystal, thanks for the love. Jalius, thank you. Your styles, yes, Russia, which means Russia. As far as I remember from what I read uh, about this whole 280 seats, 280 seats here. So relatively it's not a big hole. But right, that's cool. Get back to my seats, uh, waiting for the main parts for the apogee of the concerts. The Nutcracker of Pyotr Tchaikovsky, just interpretation by Alexander Maslov. Yes, that guy on the piano, Alexander Maslov, and his jazz trio. He's a virtuoso pianist, and also he's a senior lecturer in St. Petersburg Music Conservatory. Oh, yeah, working like with all the theaters of uh, St. Petersburg, all the most significant theaters, Mariinsky, Mikhailovsky, 
Alexandrinsky uh, La Verde, La Verde Theater in Milan. Uh, yeah. And uh, this is his own, he's also a composer, and this is his own interpretation. So now we are watching something really special, something really unique, because the classical stage, just completely classical stage of uh, Piotr Tchaikovsky, the Nutcracker, that classical ballet, uh, we can see pretty often here in several places, especially in St. Petersburg. Uh, but this just interpretation and that interpretation of the ballet that we will see is uh, really uh, more exclusive. And, uh, you know, actually, I think that's interesting, even though uh, pretty often such uh, interpretations always meets like uh, the negative of the critics who are thinking that everything all the time has to be like only in a classic way, okay? Uh, but look, when people are coming here, they initially know this is not going to be the classical stage. It's not going to be just the original ballet. It's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. This is the Nutcracker and Jazz, okay? So for everything, it's its own place and time. So if you wanna, I mean, the class, the, the classical oh, Nutcracker, it's awesome, it's awesome. But if you accept only the, uh, the, um, the original stuff, the original stuff, go to the original stuff uh, when, when, it's, when it's just an original stage of this ballet or any other ballet, but here it's pretty clear. Here it's pretty clear. It says the Nutcracker and Jazz. Mm. At the 30th of December, I've been to Ufa, my hometown, uh, and we went to the concerts of the National Symphony Orchestra of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, conducted by Dmitry Krukov. There we were listening to just a, a classical, original Nutcracker, exactly the way Pyotr Tchaikovsky composed it. Now we are the eyewitness of another vision of the Nutcracker. Also, there's going to be a, a, another interpretation of the ballet. So this is the first bell. Oh, ten minutes yet. Ten minutes yet. Here, uh, three bells or three rings. Sometimes it's a rings. Sometimes, like here, it's a bells. Even the bell is special here. Yes, I think this is uh, the bell which like uh, originally was here, or at least uh, the recreated sounds of the original bell. Because look, back in those days, in 1764, and uh, well, in the end of 18th century, there wasn't the electricity, and it was not possible to uh, make uh, the ring, which is usually now you can hear in, uh, in the most of the theaters. So there was, yeah, like there was literally just the bell and they were ringing just the bell.
I like this colonnades. I like this kind of like kind of like it's like a semicircle walls and semicircle seats. This place is the bomb. Yes, Melissa. As bomb as the uh, haircuts and the color of hair of that guy. Right? Well, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how we finish the winter. Officially, the end of the winter in Russia. Uh, tomorrow, the first of March, here already considered as uh, the uh, first day, the first day of spring. Oh, I say this because I know, like many of you, told me that in uh, in your countries and some of your countries. Uh, the spring is starts at 21st of March. The second bell. So only five minutes and we go for the second part, which is going to be an apogee. Imagine we are now inside of the very first theater in St. Petersburg, right in front of Peter and Paul Fortress. Actually, this is uh, a part of uh, the Hermitage. But we're just not in the museum, we are in the theater part. <laughs> Who are the dancers? Any name? It's Irina Peran and Marat Shmiulov. Uh, they are the uh, honored artists of uh, Mikhailovsky Theater in St. Petersburg. Check the description below. Irina Peran and uh, Marat Shmiulov. They are a married couple. One of the most beautiful married couples uh, in the Russian ballet. Uh, 
Matilde Armonia. Thanks, sorry, I didn't see this in the description. Well, you need to expand it. Uh, when you click like show more, uh, you can see the whole description. Try this. Waiting for the third bell. I'm getting back to the scene. The kids, little kids, are getting educated to the culture of Russia. Okay, the third bell. of the concerts, the Nutcracker in Jazz. Just interpretation and ballet of the legendary masterpiece of Pyotr Tchaikovsky. Уважаемые зрители, мы рады приветствовать вас в Эрмитажном театре. Для обеспечения вашей безопасности приняты все необходимые меры согласно требованиям Роспотребнадзора. Напоминаем вам, что использование средств индивидуальной защиты, масок, перчаток и соблюдение социальной дистанции является обязательным в здании театра. Спасибо за внимание.
Just interpretation of the Nutcracker of Tchaikovsky in the Hermitage Theatre.
den Zahlen.
That's the jazz interpretation of the Nat Tracker by Tchaikovsky.
the jazz interpretation of Petr Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker here on the scene of the Hermitage Theater, St. Petersburg, Russia.
the Nutcracker in Jazz on the scene of Hermitage Theater. Keep going.
Elsa Triumph. Triumph. Now y'all were the eyewitness of the uh, triumph, triumph of these guys. Michael Zwino, thanks for the great show, Sergey. Sorry we've been missing these past few days. Welcome to spring. You're welcome. Thank you too. Yeah, welcome to spring. Alexander Maslov. He is one of the uh, best jazz pianists in the world. And uh, he made this interpretation, jazz interpretation of uh, Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. Crowds won't let them go. I'm more than happy. This is exactly how, how special I wanted it to be of the end of the winter. Thumbnail. The making of thumbnails.
Thank you, thank you, Al. My pleasure, it was my pleasure to bring it to you, Russian culture. You know, every time I say that St. Petersburg, Russia is a quintessential of history, culture, architecture, arts, music, and uh, it's not just the words, it's just not the words. Georgie girl, yeah, salute. Стрим. Но он выложится тоже. И что у тебя? Просто на YouTube канал. На YouTube канал. Какой? Посмотри, потому что я кусками снимал, то что мне ребята понравились. Ну просто нужно набрать на английском Nutcracker, Nutcracker in jazz, и он найдет сразу. Nutcracker, щелкунчик. Ну понятно. Английский надо просто, потому что англоязычный стрим. Вот. И отсортировать, там есть на YouTube отсортировать по дате. Ну, по дате понятно. Да, и он сразу найдет, потому что я не думаю, что сегодня много кто снимал над Cracker in никто, Jazz. Никто не снимал. Ну вот. А зря. Да. Ну, я спросил у музыкального салона классика, это же от музыкального салона классика. Они очень приветствуют съемки. Это еще когда Конечно, в, Яни... в Яни Кирик делали, в Яни Кирик они угу. там тоже объявляли, что снимать а можно. Там, там... Они тоже выступают? А, нет, это просто а, вот ну этот музыкальный салон классика, у них несколько концертов, несколько артистов. Там, там был триумфальный орган, тоже очень классно. В Яни Кирик. Ну, я, я в курсе, где там угу. наши Там не только орган, там и тоже виолончель, пианино. The man was asking me uh, where, can, where can he watch it. Well, I told him just search for Nat Cracker and just sort out by the date. I said you will find it right away because uh, that's many people filmed today. I mean, nobody filmed. It was exclusive only on Baklakov Live. Only on Bucklick of Life. I keep bringing uh, the maximum of stuff from Russia, from St. Petersburg. Nobody, nobody cover more stuff than I do. Nobody! Kevin Kusik, this one will certainly be rewatched. Thanks so much. My pleasure.
There we go. Okay, thanks to Hermitage Theater and all the artists. This is it, Palace Embankments, the theater rides in front of Peter and Paul Fortress, Niva River, Jim, Jack, Captain and Friends, Spasiba Sergei, another awesome live stream. I do my best, I do my best. I, I really was looking for something special, for something really special at the last day of winter. And I've got it, I've got it. Uh, today, I'm absolutely happy, happy, uh, absolutely, I'm absolutely satisfied. I'm absolutely satisfied with how this live stream went through, yeah, and the content. Russia, Russia, Petersburg. I'm really happy that I can share the real life of St. Petersburg. Melissa, Melissa and everybody, thanks for, for love.
Where are you going now? Well, I will go home now. We'll share the rest of uh, the evening with my family. Vika, Albina, Albinochka, Vikochka. Om Rainy Remnath, magnificent Sergey. I appreciate you always stay amazing king of IRL. Yeah, I know already. I know. Thank you big time. Always. Yeah, I know you always appreciate uh, appreciate the music, the arts. Big time. I congratulate you all with the end of, well, technically the end of winter here in Russia. We are beginning the new season, the spring season. Okay, I think this is an ideal place to say bye for today. Thank you for enjoying. Thank you for all the comments. See you. See you at spring. Goodbye winter. from St. Petersburg, Russia with love. In the end, just a traditional panorama. Bye. See you at spring. Craig P, Susan M, Tarja Arnio, Great Gatsby, Eustace, Marty Kitty, Joe Hernandez, Jadis 10, Crystal, Kimberly Cruz, Ronda Price, Robert DeVos, Bill in Florida, Turbine 6202, Omrani Remnant, King Nero, Jim Steagall, MS31, Jay Lewis, Neil McDonald, Kevin Kostik, Sofia Monaco, Silke Hagemeyer, Matilda Armonia, Barbara V, Andrea Viro, Porinamo, have a great spring, Jim Jack, Captain Friends.
Kane Arrow. Brianna B. See y'all. From St. Petersburg, Russia, with love. 